lord of all names. I order you to obey the power of this pentacle. Come out of your hidden darkness and send me an angel to give me the key of the secret of secrets. Come on, pet. Jump! Jump! You're my favorite in a hurry, so be a good girl. Come on, jump. Now, don't try me, Matilda. You're holding up the whole flock. I said jump, Matilda. Listen, Matilda. You'll be stoomy tomorrow if you don't jump. <laughs> it was a gigantic flying thing. Threw a shadow over the whole mountainside. Bigger than the castle. Tremendous! It had enormous wings, bigger than a thousand eagles, and it flew a thousand times faster. Long claws. As sharp as a vulture's. But so large. They could pick up the whole village in them. A long, long tail, like a flying snake. From hell. Yes, from hell. What are you talking about? We're talking about the dragon. Yes, yes. yes about the dragon. The dragon. The dragon? Yes, a dragon that will destroy all our flocks. Oh, what are our soldiers doing? Nothing. It's always taxes, taxes, and in the end, nothing. That is the law. It's... Shut up. That's right, Get shut up. To your the dragon will leave us without one head of sheep while the soldiers only think of taking our money. Yeah. That's enough. Shut up. Thus do ye show gratitude for all the goodness the Count has bestowed on thee. One cent until the dragon is slain. And we won't give you anything until you free us from the dragon. Yeah, earn your day's pay. We shall obey the law. Next time they'll be armed, they'll be waiting for us with weapons. The dragons got them terrified. Ah, dragons. An excuse to avoid paying what is owed me. You are charged with keeping my vassals in control. If you cannot do so, perhaps someone else could. Sire, surely thou canst not doubt my forceful courage. A hundred trials have I fought forsooth and triumphed over each one. If I were knighted and made so clever, the vassals would respect me more and thus would be eased the rigors of your reign. Must you speak like that? You shall be knighted only when I, your count, believe oh, you are worthy of Lady Alba. Happy beats my heart when thou do I see. Her eyes as the sun do sparkle. Enough of that romantic rubbish to my daughter. Now out and pay attention for a change to watching over my vassals. What do you hear? And without your lady in waiting? Dear father, sometimes a girl seeks to be by herself. What you like is company, like that imbecile clever, who not being a knight is not worthy of you. I'll never feel anything for ridiculous clever. But I think it's only natural for a girl of my age to think of getting to know someone special. If it were up to you, you'd be making eyes at any old page, soldier, 
or even peasant. What's that, Vuesius? More nostrums? One day you will poison our dear count, and when that happens... And when that happens, you will take over Rook and have the peasants pay more taxes to you. And you may mock of me. How dare you, devil's witch doctor? Of course, worthy of carrying on my bloodline. My lord. Bothius, my medicine? Sit down, sire. What do I do with this, your medicine, my learned Bothius? Shall I drink it? No, sire. You must inhale it. Lean over the bowl, please. Beware. He will poison you. This unprincipled magician will see you dead. And your soul lost forever. By your lupo, this magician, as you call him, has cured the pains in my stomach, the pains in my hands, the pains <laughs> in my head, the pains in my eyes, you must keep the pains calm, in my Lord. leg. He looks after my body. And you must look after my soul and save it. My health will help me maintain my power here. My soul is for later. Father, we must talk further about my problems, all right? Leave me in peace. Ah, this Bothius is a genius. I can feel youthful vigor flowing again through my veins. My child, I have been looking for you. You don't you. want me to get married. You want me not to get married. You're frightened that my husband will replace you as ruler of the land. Admit it, you're afraid. Enough's enough. You will only escape from isolation on the hand of a most remarkable prince. Such a prince is yet to emerge from the morons who pass for your suitors. It would take a miracle dropping out of the sky to bring one whom you would approve. And until then, you cannot keep me under lock and key. I can and I will. Don't you know there's a dragon around here that devours goats, women, and children? Hold it. Let's have a look at your faces. I'm sorry. I thought that you were... I'm sorry. My lady, please, wait! We take a foolish risk, my lady. What about the wolves and bandits or, or the dragon? Oh. Oh. Before crossing this bridge, you must venture a passage at arms with me of might is an unknown strong as I. By name, the Green Knight. And even if I must humiliate thee in order that ye joust with me, I... Princess, for surely ye must be that with such beauty. Ah, I astride my gallant steed, lightning bolt, pledge thee my protection wherever thou goest, to escort thee with full safe passage, guaranteed by my prowess at arms. Well, many thanks, worthy knight. But you would serve me best by remaining to guard this bridge and prevent anyone from crossing it. <gasps> Go thou in peace. While God gives me strength to hold up these arms, no one shall cross this bridge. I swear, oh, be it... Oh, knight! While you vow your allegiance, you block me from my allegiance to my mistress. Excuse me, my lady. <laughs> Oh, my God. Whoa. 
my lady. My lady. Please come back. My lady, please. What, what are you doing? Mother Salta, what if something happens? Your father will have me cleaning out the garbage cesspools forever. Were we not, my lord? I shall rescue the fair Alba from the hideous monster. As I have vowed to the people, I now vow to thee. Snorting fire it was, with teeth like giant columns. Oh, believe me, my lord, I did everything I could. I'll do what I can. Then do what you can, which I hold as a promise, and do it immediately. My lord. Alba's not found. Your head will roll. Oh, sire, I was helpless. Your daughter ordered me along. I forbade her. I begged her. Remember that I warned that Boetius was in league with the devil. I predicted he would bring damnation and sorrow on us. Oh. How dare anyone cross while I'm indisposed? Oh. You have brought shame to my name, an insult to the lady I made promise to. The mysterious princess. Oh. I shall find thy names oh. and hunt thee down one by one. For my name is not the Green Knight. Oh. Oh. Kill that dragon. I demand it. Kill it. Now. I would slay thee. I order thee to rise from the waters. Roman, we shall root out this fiend from hell. Joust with me, foul dragon, and die an honorable death. I'll take thee on face to face. Roman, row! Back, back. Come back here. 
Bishop kill the dragon! My god, it's Esfrid now! My daughter. My daughter. Poor Alba. Protector. Some protector. Who will protect us from him? All his dependents and vassals will dress in black to dress mourn. Dress in black? I've only got what I'm standing here with. To mourn the disappearance of his most beautiful daughter, who has been carried off by the dragon. And all of you, dressed as ordered, must attend a funeral mass for the late most beautiful Alba, which will take place tomorrow in the chapel of the castle. So I say repent. Repent, brethren, of this community. For because of your sins, our most beautiful Alba has gone away with no chance at all in matrimony. She will never give our beloved Count an heir. No offspring of the Count will enjoy the pleasure of making this terrain greater, more prosperous, more powerful, and more faithful to the holy religion. Because Satan is among us. Because Satan has carried off our beloved Alba to his infernal regions. And we must suffer the fact that we'll never again see this lovely child. Never to see her again. Alba. Alba. Oh, it's a miracle. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where was she? What happened? What have they done to her? Sire, I found her in the woods. Just like she is now. She doesn't seem to see or hear. But thank God she's alive. Praise to God, brethren. Let us pray for our most beloved Alba whom God has returned to our bosom safe and sound. Sage Bothius, Bothius, what's wrong with my daughter? Tell me, what's wrong with my daughter? Your daughter is possessed by the devil. Oh, no. And only the power of the Lord, only his power, and not that of a witch doctors, can save her eternal soul. Her soul is your domain, Friar Lupo. I only deal with the weaknesses of the body. He will be her damnation. Don't push your daughter into a pact with evil. Sire, Boatius is a magician, a demon who uses unholy tricks. Be quiet. Do anything you want. Body, soul, what does it matter? Just cure her. By all the demons in hell, cure her. Do you hear me, Alba? Can you hear me? I'm your friend. I want to help you. What happened? Tell me what happened. What happened when you entered the lake? You were swimming there, do you remember, Alba? You were swimming. I, I saw my seven spirits. They were like me, but they weren't me.
make him come back, boy. Please bring him back. Calm yourself. Have faith in me. Take me to him. How can I take you somewhere if I don't know where it is? Where do you wish me to take you? To the mouth of hell. Don't speak to anybody of what you have seen. This must be a secret between you and me. And I will work to fulfill your wishes. Father. Alva. You saved her, Bothius. I'll never be able to thank you enough. You've given me back Alba. My own dear Alba. The real Alba. Because the Alba who came to that church door was a ghost. That witch doctor now gains more influence over the Count. If this goes on, we'll soon be under the domination of the forces of evil. No. No? Has the Count ever thank you for your loyalty? To him, you are just an employee, like a seventies. He has little intention of making you a knight. No. No. Man still lives of giving you his daughter's hand in marriage. Something has to be done, Clever, or we'll both be buried by our enemies. No? Yes. You have no need to worry. I'll protect you. Given the unconscious state you're in doesn't allow you to recognize the dangers around you. You'll stay in your chambers closely watched and protected by guards who have my fullest confidence. But, Father... At least until this dragon is dead or no longer a threat. But, Father... There's nothing more to be said. I'm doing this for your own good. Both yes. I proclaim good news. When he says good news, beware. Yeah. Now that the beautiful Alba has been found, the Count has banned the color black. He has ordered that all must wear bright colored clothing to show joy and happiness. Oh! Before crossing this bridge, you must venture a passage of arms with me. Of might, none is known as strong as I. By name, the Green Knight. And even if I must humiliate ye in order to make you joust with Sir, me, Sir, it's I... not in my character to fight anyone. Please allow me to go my way. Oh, my troth was given a mysterious princess. And already once I have failed to honor that pledge. Now? He asked that I allow passage again. Uh, oh, to shame I heap on myself. But I do not do battle unfairly. May God be with you.
Lord of all names. You have answered my calls and sent one of your angels to give me the sacred of secrets which will allow men to live forever. Seven spirits. How about seven spirits? But will he come or not? Tell me. I don't know, Alba. I really don't know. It's very difficult to say what he might do. Doesn't he love me? Is he rejecting me? No, it's not like that. That's it. That's why he didn't keep me with him. That's why he let me go. No, Alba, he let you go because he loves you. He loves you. He loves me? Then why? Because he cannot take you with him. In the country he came from, you wouldn't be a normal being. The men there would use you as an object to be studied. Like a plant or a thing. Well, in that case, he should stay here. He cannot stay here, Alba. He's come here on a very important mission, and he's already dedicated many years to study. Many years? Oh, well, he looks very young. Because he knows the secret of eternal youth. I will give him everything he needs. Everything. I'm the daughter of a count. Is he grander than that, do you think? Do you think his country has more, has more riches than ours? You don't understand. Take me to him. I'll escape and you, you'll never see me again. Alba, please. Alba? Oh, I am sorry, sir. I did not know you were here. How is our girl progressing? She's improving all the time. Watch over her. Money, money. You do nothing but ask for more money. You've come at a bad time, both of you. Thanks to this damn dragon, we're not collecting as much in taxes as we expected. I would not be asking if my petition were not so important. I'm on the verge of discovering the highest medicine. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm talking about restoring your youth. Restoring my youth? Yes. It could well be so, my lord. Are you sure? Really sure? You've known me for many years. I've always been loyal and honest. Yes, I'm certain. Ah. It's within my power. Ah, to be young and strong again. With my knowledge, I might expand my domains. I'll get you whatever you want. But I demand results. I want to see you working night and day.
Mm -hmm. It fits like a glove, my lord. It's my latest creation. So hard, so resistant. No one will have a set of armor like this one. Just, just look at these curves, those angles. Unique design. You look so heroic the day you're knighted. Just ravishing. Does he like it? Oh, yeah. Oh. You never kiss me. I've never even touched you. I don't even know what your face is really like. Why do you never take that armor off? Kill you? You mean, if you take your armor off, you will die? Because you cannot breathe the same air as I do. No, it can't be true. If you can't take it off, why do you bother with me? If you don't take that armor off, you'll be nothing more than a statue. The likes are none more dashing than I. He seems eyes will pop for never has such suit of armor been seen. Uh, excuse me, but what legend would you like on the shield? Ah, yes, a legend. Perhaps a lion. Or a double-headed eagle. It would be very vivid, very striking. No. No. A dragon. A dragon? Yes, a dragon and a knight. That it should be, a knight slaying a dragon. Oh. <sighs> Put me and make me fall in love with a statue? to be embraced, kissed by the man I love. I just can't believe it. I just can't believe that you will die if you don't wear that helmet. Can't you understand me? Can't you? No, don't touch me. I don't want you to touch me with those horrible gloved hands. Let me go. Touch not the most beautiful Alba, damn you. Whomsoever you may be. No, he's unarmed. Defend yourself. I can't believe it. Are you a ghost or a goblin? Or perhaps a demon? Paternoster Santa Maria Vade Retro, Angelus e Archangelus, in secular seculorum. Amen. 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 Amen.
Myself to blame. I want my daughter back. You must confine Boisius immediately. He, with his evil science, has bewitched the beautiful Alba and handed her over to the powers of a darkness. Both he has cured her, and he's working on something of utmost importance to me. Blame not others for fault of your own. You too clever. You and your guards allowed the enemies untouched into the castle. Sire, thee knowest well every man in the garrison would slay down his life to save thee. And you also, friar, 
If you have such power, why didn't you protect the castle from evil spirits or whatever diabolical beings there are? I would have an edict pronounced offering the hand of my daughter Alba and half of my land to anyone who brings her back safe and sound and gets rid of that damn dragon once and for all. Sire, I will conquer the dragon. She threw me this scarf as a token of her trust in me to save her. And she promised me her hand in marriage and half her land. My daughter said that? Yes. First things first, I pay you to defend my lands and that you did not do. Now get out. I wish to be alone. By the order of the Count of Rook, our lord and protector, be it known that the man who defeats the dragon and saves the daughter of the Count will be rewarded. <laughs> will be rewarded with half his lands and the hand of his daughter, the most beautiful Alba. <laughs> But this, but this is what we call the mouth of hell. This isn't your land. It's my father's. It looks so strange. This is the way we see it from inside. It's all been a dream. I dreamt that we were flying, the two of us. Away to that world which you say is yours. You were carrying me up into the sky. I like to think you come from the skies. You're my prince of the skies. At least now I'm with you. That's what I wanted. something about the armor worn by the Knight of the Dragon. What does it say? Read it out to me. The dragon is the guardian of the knight's wisdom and will take it to heaven, where the wise men of his world are much interested in our way of life. <laughs> this is a typical text written by a scheming alchemist. It must be interpreted in the reverse. No, oh, clever. Where it speaks about heaven, it really means hell. 
and wise men translates into evil devils. You really believe so? A knight's armor protects him from all evils of this world. It makes him immortal. Ah. Yes. Without it, he would fall into Parquet's embrace. Whose embrace? Of death. Yes, I know that. But does it say anything about how I could take off his armor? Yes, it says that whoever owns the armor will be master of the dragon. Master of the dragon. If I had to own his armor, I would be master of the dragon. But does it say anything about how I could take his armor off? Oh. It must be written here somewhere. It must be. I must know how to take all that armor. Ungodly devilish hearts that lead to perdition. <laughs> this castle must be exorcised. All the demons hindered around it must be driven out. Sorry. Yeah, that's it. Exorcised. Sorry. Look! A thief from hell! Devil! Devil! I saw it. Theme from hell! You know how to take off the armor. Do you know what that means? Devil! I saw it! I order you back to hell! I saw it! Thank Devil. you, God! What? Suffered for man's sins. What the devil is going on here? Let me pass. Out of my way, I say. May you be freed of all the evil imps who possess you. Adonai, Vesselbab, and Astaroth. You must perform an act of penance for your sins. Enough of this rubbish. Take them to the dungeons. That is an order. You must perform a penance, an act of purification, just as your good and loyal servant, Clever, has been purified. You will honor. A knighthood. And by the power vested in me by the county of Ruck, I dub thee Sir Clever. Oh! I'm a knight. I'm a knight.
I must have clean handkerchiefs. The orders are to give you nothing but food. You can't treat me or my poor nose this way. Use the one you have. Oh, my poor nose. <laughs> <laughs> Are ye talking to me? Before crossing this bridge, ye must venture a passage at arms with me. Of might is none known stronger than I, by name the Green Knight. And even if I must humiliate thee... It is not necessary to humiliate me. That's enough. What type of nonsense is this? Pledge have I made to my lady, the mysterious princess. And no one will cross this bridge. And it's not in my nature as a knight to permit a man to be held in this condition. This is not a man, but a devil who's going to lead us to the place where your mysterious princess has been held captive by the dragon. My lady? Held captive? Oh, but I must free her. No. Oh, that task corresponds to this, noble knight. As far as you are concerned, you should remain here, faithful to your word. And prevent anyone, absolutely anyone, from crossing this bridge. But, but how do I prevent it? Uh, everyone crosses. Uh, but, uh, oh. is it that only women, old men and cowards are to cross at this bridge? Hmm? Aren't there any real knights around here? Ah! Aren't there any other bridges? But all this? What's it for? These are things. Don't you have any plows in your country? No plows? And you say that you live so well. <laughs> What's this? I've got it. You're not Ix. You're Noah. And this is the Ark. And you're collecting two of each kind of animal because... Is it going to rain? Is it going to rain a lot? There's spirits. Why do you want so many spirits? Oh, you came to collect them for your world. Never ever take it off? Yes, I know. You can't breathe the same air as me. Do you think I'm going to believe all that? Of course you can breathe the same air. I'm fed up with you saying, I can't. If you can come from the sky, you can do anything. Knight of the Dragon! Please hear me. They have asked me to give you this message. Is... Keep the dragon under control. If it makes the slightest move, they will kill me. On you go, clever. May God protect you. Knight of the Dragon! 
be man or demon. By the customs of chivalry and in the name of God and the Virgin Mary. For the honor of my lady, the most sublime, I do challenge thee and thee alone to combat. The dragon which aids in a better infernal actions must not interfere. And as the offended party and the defender of Alpha's virtue, I do reserve the right to choose the weapons and the terms of combat. We shall be on horseback with lance and mace, and it will be to death. And the terms be that the most beautiful Alba, daughter of the Count, will betroth and wed with the victor. And were you to make unfair use of the dragon, or of any other demonic power against me, Oasis will die. Is that fair? Aren't you going to do something? Didn't you say you loved me? That man is willing to lay down his life for me. What about you? He's proving his love for me. Now prove yours. Dousting, of course. Is there a better way of proving your love? Don't touch me. I'm tired of your words. I want you to do something. God will decide with whom I ought to stay. Don't blaspheme. Clever wants to show that he loves me. Your love for me should inspire the same courage. Let me go. What is this? He hath rejected my challenge? Without battle, he has turned you over without even a fight? He hath no courage, no chivalry. Come out, ye dastardly poltroon! Are ye a man or a field mouse? For shame! If unable to defend that of a beautiful lady, I shall not accept thee disdaining my challenge!
you, lady. Fight for her, you spineless varlet. I've defeated him. I've defeated the dragon. He's fled. My lady, I offer you this victory. This triumph over the forces of evil was made possible by the inspiration of your love and my faith in God. Accept me as your slave until I have the honor of accepting you as my wife. No tricks now.
Ajax, look at me. Look at me. In the name of the Holy Cross, and what it symbolizes, I call upon you, infernal beast. I call upon you to surrender to your, to your new master. For from now on, you will only serve goodness. <laughs> on you go, Clever. You the new master? Don't you think you should go first to bless the way? You've got the armor on. What other protection do you need? Hmm. It is mine, Bishop. The dragon with all its secrets is mine. It cannot harm me for I do wear the invincible suit of armor. The dragon must obey me. All powerful am I, Bishop. The Count never again will raise his voice against me. Thanks to me, clever. Thanks to me. Let's get out of here. No. I demand that you stop that. Hi, Sir Clever. Knight of the Dragon, how are you to go back to sleep? In the name of God, I warn you. Stop it! I warn you. Open door! Open door! Ajax, please don't die. Save him both years. Only you can. You cured my father. There's no life in him left to save, Alma. Wait. It's liquid gold. It was the last hope. I demand it. Stop it! In the name of God, put me down, dragon. I warn you. Oh, oh, clever. Oh, oh, clever. In the name 
name of God. Ah, clever, you got me into this trouble. Wherever we are going, how will I be able to teach total strangers about giving up a percentage of what they earn? <laughs> clever, you old bombast, an arrogance, a foolish fop. Uh, weak in the head and weak in everything. Uh, honey, net tomorrow. On. I was just trying to get somewhere in the world. The dragon is gone. It's returning to its own world. And why have you stayed? Because you like me or because you haven't any alternative? Now the clever has got your helmet. You liar. You must not forget that you're immortal now. You'd better cover yourself up. Lightning bolt! Lightning bolt! At last I found you! Oh, oh. What have they done to you? Oh, are you all right? Oh, oh. Oh. Oh, my mysterious princess. Oh. Oh. Excuse me for my appearance, but, but, but a strange devil with magic powers did steal my horse and weapons. And now I must find the culprit and finish him off. Has any of these seen him? Wouldst know which way he went? A strangely dressed man went up into the sky. Up into the sky? Oh, oh, damn thief! Me seemeth he must come down soon enough. The wind will carry him in that direction. And when he cometh down, there will await the Green Knight to wreak vengeance on the dastard and his infernal powers. Away, Lightning Bolt! Away! My God, now what color will he make us dye our clothes? He's a saint! Quickly, quickly! What's happening? The princess has been saved! What's wrong? Hurry, They've hurry. killed the dragon! Was it clever? No, a brave knight. And clever? I don't know. Hey, right. hurry. My child. Noble knight, know that I have full intention of keeping my promise. Now that you freed my daughter from the claws of the dragon and finished off for once and for all with that despicable beast. What I mean is that I grant you the hand of my daughter Alba. Uh, 
and half of the country, naturally, as I promised. <laughs> what do you say? Do you accept or not? It's just that he's very shy. And he doesn't speak much. But anyway, he's wonderful. Clever! What are you doing? The dragon will obey. He will obey. To the right, Clever. To the right! Watch out! We are going to... I can't understand you. You're upside down. I can't control the dragon! I can't control the dragon! But you've got the magic armor on. This armor doesn't work! We must have missed something! I think I've got it now. I think I've got it! Very good, Clever! We will come back!